Hey friends, welcome to my channel. I am Danny, otherwise known as the Grow Girl. Thanks for tuning in today. So we're in December and you know, in the garden, especially in my garden, there's not really a ton going on actively outside. So I thought in today's video and the next couple of weeks, I would kind of go over just some basic recommendations on books, products, and then just how to get started with your own backyard garden. I've had a lot of people ask me about that recently, so I thought I would kind of show you guys how I got started in my backyard garden and kind of give you some ideas on how you can start your own backyard garden. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you some of my favorite books that I like. Um, I'll have them all linked below. You can buy them all online other than my one um, Houston book by Dr. Bob Randall. If you live in the greater Houston area, I will write down below where you can get this book. It's been an invaluable resource for me for my area. Um, but of course, all the other books you can get online off of Amazon or somewhere else and have them shipped to your house. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Next week's video is gonna be about some different products tools, things that I have found to be really helpful in the garden. I'm going to have another video on some really cute and fun Christmas ideas for your fellow gardeners. And then my last video, which is either going to be end of this month or beginning of next month, is going to be about uh, how to start your own backyard garden, my process, and then what you might want to think about. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to take you through each different book kind of show you the book cover, what's inside, some of my favorite parts. And then, like I said, I will link everything below so that you can get your own copy. Okay, so the first thing I just wanted to show you guys is my garden planner. This has probably been the best thing I have done since starting my backyard garden is to use a planner. Um, I had one last year and writing down kind of what I was doing every day, planning stuff out, making little notes to myself has been incredibly helpful. So I just got this one at Target. I have a bunch of like saved planting guides and other things in the folder here and um, I'll kind of show you a couple of pages but for instance this is August so you can see here making little notes like okay I moved the beds this is when I planted the bush beans and zucchini so I know how far down the line to expect them to be um, you know producing vegetables and then over here I kind of had like my monthly to-do list so that I could kind of keep track of what all I needed to do during this planting season and yeah it's just been really helpful and especially using it year to year um, trying to plan things ahead of time as well as looking back on my notes from last year and figuring out what worked what didn't work and then not having to look everything up every time so yeah number one make sure you get yourself a really good planner So the first book I wanted to show y'all is the new Southern Living Gardening book. This is the first book I bought when I decided that I wanted to really grow my backyard garden. You know, Southern Living Magazine is really the quintessential guide to growing stuff in the South, getting ideas. So I figured this gardening book would be a really good investment and it hasn't let me down. Um, it has a lot of different sections. Of course in the front just some general information beautiful pictures probably the most helpful part is in the middle all the pages that have just a whole heap of list of plants and then i like in the back um, it has a lot of different guides so how to fertilize um, general tips on planting, general tips on containers, 
see, guide to growing fruit. So just a lot of different kind of tips and stuff. So this has been a really good book if you live kind of in the southern part of the U.S. Um, for a lot of really helpful information. Okay, so this is probably one of the most recommended books on gardening is Riddell's Basic Organic Gardening Beginner Guide. So this has a lot of really good information on how to use organic methods to grow your garden. So we're not using any pesticides or chemicals, so you have really great organic vegetables, fruits, and flowers and plants. Um, there's a lot of different tips and info in here. Um, just really a lot of great information. It's really easy to understand. Um, I really like how, uh, he kind of lays out some, even some plans for some gardens. So like this salad garden kind of goes into how to space everything, you know, what you might want to grow, giving you some tips. Um, here in the back, like here's a section on cover crops. Um, there's a section in the back. Yeah, this area kind of goes through different types of vegetables, giving you tips on how to plant everything. And then in the back, some different guides as well. And then probably my favorite part is here where it says, kind of goes through the seasonal calendar, what you need to be focusing on every month. I have found this to be a very helpful guide. So this is definitely one that you want to pick up. Okay, if you want to really start a backyard vegetable garden, this is probably going to be overall the most helpful book. It is very easy to read, very basic and explanatory and has some really good pictures and tips. Um, this is the Vegetable Gardener's Bible. So in the front, there's a lot of different information on like how to build raised beds um, with a lot of like how-to pictures, crop rotation, um, just some general information. I think the most helpful area is of course the back where it has all the sections of plants and shows you really nice pictures, really good, you know, gives you recommendations on varieties, kind of some various tips on how to grow stuff. So this is just a really great starting point to get some basic information on different types of vegetables. So you definitely want to have this one in your library. Now this book is probably the most recommended book if you're wanting to grow flowers. And I mean, who doesn't want flowers in their garden, whether it's just to look at, whether it's to attract pollinators like bees and butterflies, or whether it's to grow a cut flower garden so that you can have, you know, decoration and flowers to put in vases in your house. So this is a super popular book and I have found it to be very helpful. Of course, a lot of general guides and information in the beginning. A lot of very beautiful flowers. Um, it has some really good guides on how to grow specific kinds of gardens. So like this section, this is an idea for a wildflower garden. And then it has like a list of different types of flowers you want to get for a wildflower garden. Um, so a lot of different recommendations like that. And then of course in the back, it kind of goes through all the different varieties of flowers and gives you tips on when to plant and how to grow them well in your garden. So if you're looking to grow flowers, this is gonna be the one you wanna get. So I know you're looking at this book and you're saying, come on, Danny, I don't live in Texas. What is this gonna do for me? And it probably won't do anything if you don't live in Texas because this is going over all the native wildflowers to grow here. It's a very basic book going over different varieties. But the main thing I want you to think about with books like this is can you find any kind of guide for your area where you live to be planting native plants? That's so important in order to 
have a very successful garden and, you know, make sure you're attracting the white, the right kind of wildlife and you're staving off a lot of different pests and diseases and that you're going to be successful is you want to plant native plants. They're going to do a whole lot better in your garden. So something to think about. And if you live in Texas, I like this book for adding in wildflowers to your garden. Now this last book here is really more of a guide and it is the year round vegetables, fruits and flowers for Metro Houston guide by Dr. Bob Randall. This has been one of the most helpful books I have used for my garden because I live in the greater Houston area and he has been growing here for years. And this book has been so helpful be, for him to break it down for local area, even getting specific planting guides, very specific varieties you want to use. I think this would be helpful for anyone in general, but especially in the Houston area. But once again, something to think about is can you find any local guides like this for your area that is going to give you a lot more specific information? I mean, it has a list in the back on where to buy stuff, local stores. So, you know, that's definitely something you want to look into. Um, Urban Harvest, which is a organization in Houston that puts on a lot of educational activities, uh, seminars, classes, events for, you know, gardening around the Houston area. Um, I went to a class at the Science Museum on square foot gardening and they were selling this book and I figured why not, I'm going to get it. And it's been an invaluable resource. So, you know, look at your community and see if there's any kind of classes or education you can take. And they might have a lot of these kind of resources as well. All right, y'all, that's all I got for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. As always, if you want more daily up-to-date gardening inspiration, please consider following me on Instagram at the Girl Texas.